Welcome back to the Morning Blend. We followed his journey from the reality TV competition to his long-running show at the Barrage. Now Terry Fader has brought a new friend to join him in the fun. He's here to introduce us to Rusty the Robot. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. It is nice to meet both of you. Oh, you too. <laughs> this is your newest character. My newest character. Can and the funny thing is, the, one, the reason why actually he's here is I've actually done this impression of the Stephen Hawking voice. Oh, my know, goodness. Right. As he talks like this. I do, you know, so I would do it for my friends. <laughs> and I said, man, i got to get that in the show sometime. So he decided to make a role thought oh. that talked just like that. <laughs> Terry, we can't keep up. How many characters do you have now? I've got, uh, oh gosh, I don't know, 17, 18. Wow. Uh, but you know, every, oh the show, there's, I think there's nine in the show now. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you can only, you know, an hour and a half, you, you can only do so many, so I have to take one out and put, put another back in. Um, usually, uh, like Vicky, uh, Vicky and Barry are my two most adult. Vicky is the cougar, the cougar. Yes. and Barry fabulous. <laughs> He's just a fabulous, you know. Uh, you know. And uh, so, so I, I kind of switch those two out. I don't do both of those because this show is a family show. Mm -hmm. And my, my criteria is if I'm ever going to tell an adult joke, and I will say there are a couple with Rusty, um, <laughs> that there has to be a clean explanation for the kids so mm -hmm. that the adults get one thing, take it, and laugh it's really like hard. Shrek. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Laugh really hard, and the kids don't have any idea, but there's a clean explanation for the kids. Two That's levels really important of humor. Exactly. Uh, so so what, tell me what went into creating Rusty, because you, 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 you look fantastic, Rusty, first oh, of all. Oh, thank you. Uh, but how, how, how do the joints come together? How well, you know, it, it, he's actually wood. Uh, I'm, I'm a kind of a traditionalist when it comes to puppets, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just really hard uh, for me to, to go the new, the new composite route where it's kind of a mixture of plastic and wood. I just yeah. grew up with wood puppets, and so he's made out of wood and just spray painted. But he does impressions. Oh. I certainly do. Okay. Do, do, uh, do a little Garth. Okay. Laying it all on no 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 I don't mean a little Garth he's very literal he's about do uh do, oh oh okay laying it all on my ribs I showed up in boots and ruined your black tie there there you go so it's got, kind of like a like a, an Englishman where they sound like they have an accent until they start singing exactly yeah. uh, and the, the kind of the, the idea of him is that. He's going to take over the entire show. Oh. And uh, so, so he, he, we find out that he does impressions of uh, everyone. I can do this. I'm Shantan Testa. And I'm Dalvo. Okay, that's not, <laughs> not going to happen. Is Winston the Turtle going to be jealous? Uh, you know, the, the puppets, uh, they're a little bit jealous of Rusty, because, mm -hmm. but then, but then uh, we find out uh, at the end of the routine that maybe it's not going to be such a good idea after all. Mm -hmm. You just got to come see it. Mm -hmm. You do have to go see it. I know. What's show. so amazing is every time you go see your, your show, because you change out the characters, you're seeing a whole new experience. Exactly. Yes. And that's something that's very important to me. I've had people that told me they've seen the show 11 and 12 times, and it's been different every single mm -hmm. time. Wow. And maybe not 100% different, but yeah. since I'm always adding new, new jokes, new characters, new, uh, new routines, you know, a new song. Like we just put in Uptown Funk, um, a new song that's kind of sweeping the nation goes into the show. So we try to keep it really fresh for everybody. Mm -hmm. No question. It's not like a, it's not like a, a theme park and riding a ride. It's the same ride every time. Exactly. Six years. There's been a bunch of metamorphosis at the Mirage. Congratulations, by the way. Thank on six you years. very much. What a, what a crazy ride that's been. You and know, it's just amazing. Go from uh, a complete obscurity, America's Got Talent, and then catapulted as a headliner in Vegas. And to have a successful show at the Mirage for six years, uh, I'm, just, I'm just honored and I'm very grateful for my fans. And it's all you basically on stage doing all these characters. It's incredible. I How resent you... that. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> yes, but you know, it doesn't feel like a one-man show. It really doesn't. It feels... Uh, the characters really do come to life, and uh, you will, you'll feel like that you just... I look at myself as a talk show host, and that my characters are my guests. And, mm -hmm. and really, I think that's what makes the, uh, makes the puppets feel alive, because that's how I view them. I don't view them as puppets. I view them as actual, real characters People. that I'm just interviewing and that they all do impressions. And Rusty does every impression of my show. And we have this little medley where he does about five of them right in a row. Wow. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Rusty, wh how do you like being on the show so far? I'd love it. As soon as I take it over, it will be better. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks. And, Computers and are replacing I us all. Yeah. Love that you do. Also, you give discounts to the mil military, and you always honor them in your show. We do, and every penny of all of the money we make from sales, when you buy CDs and T-shirts and other things at the Mirage, and, and even online, goes to help the military. Which so is awesome. It's very important mm -hmm. to me. I, I just uh, profoundly respect those who serve, and we give discounts to the uh, to the military, yeah. and uh, and also the money from the sales. So not, not only are you paying it forward with that, you're paying it for with uh, your gut talent friends as well. Denmark got, uh, Denmark, Denmark's got talent. You're going to have somebody in from that soon, I'm right? so excited about that. You know, he sent me a video of him on, on uh, Denmark's Got Talent, and he told me I inspired him, wow. and he does singing. He had an Elvis puppet, and he was um, singing. He was phenomenal, and I said, 
when come to Vegas and and uh, you can you can do a performance of my show. So we're uh, we're going to work that out in April. It's going to be fun. Oh, and so when Terry cool. calls, people come. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Definitely. Ten, ten, twelve years ago, you're sitting you're, you're sitting down before you know this this whole thing happened. Did you ever think you'd be inspiring people in Denmark and you'd have boys to men playing in your theater? <laughs> never, <laughs> never. I, I mean, it, like I said, you know, I had these dreams. Yeah. And my dream of when I went on America's Got Talent, I thought, and this was my goal. I thought I'm going to get on two episodes, three episodes, hopefully, and they'll, then I'll get kicked off, and then I can raise my price at elementary schools. Yeah. <laughs> that was what I thought, you know. You know, I can double my price at elementary schools. I never thought I would win, and I certainly never thought I would. You know, I always wanted to be a headliner in Vegas. Yeah. Um, ever since I read about Danny Gans's contract back in the 1980s, of and I said, "Well, that's what I want to do. I want to play Vegas." Mm -hmm. uh, but I just didn't know what was going to happen in, in a period of two years. That was, of course, after uh, 20 years of work, yeah, <laughs> of, yes, uh, hard of work. traveling yes. and, and playing a lot. And of I've it. never dreamed about being in a Vegas. Vegas strip show, but Sean and I are in your show. You yes, are. We have a little cameo, and it's so fun. Well, that's why he was able to do it, because I hear you say it every night. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Every night. I'm sorry, Rusty. No, it's great. <laughs> it's really fun, and I really appreciate you guys doing that. Oh, it's so much fun. So cool. And you come out, and you, and you say, uh, you know, you, you do a, um, uh, a news report on Winston, because Winston goes to Hollywood, and we gotta, you got to find out. So you want to find out how Winston that. does in Hollywood, you got to uh, you got to come and see the show. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure as always. Thank you so much, buddy. Hey, thank, thank you so much. Rusty, great meeting you. Yeah, so nice to meet you. Congratulations thank you so much. on getting the gig. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Catch Terry, Rusty, and the rest of the gang at the Terry, F uh, rather at Terry Fader, the voice of entertainment, Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m. inside the Mirage. They also perform on select Fridays and Saturdays. To find out more, just call the number or visit the website right there on your screen.